for this program the first thing that you need to do is create a text file in this case I create I created a text file called players.txt and I added three players to my text file so what this what this program does is it when it runs it displays the team name which is at the start and then it displays the first letter of each word after that so the first one here which is E and then H after that so this is the order that you need to do it in you also need to remember that you press enter and move your mouse cursor right here at the bottom this is because we use slash n when we ask the user for a question so we need to do this otherwise you're going to get an error saying index at range okay once you do that you close your file and you save it okay so moving on to the code the first thing that you need to do is create import random so this loads the random function to allow us to use random.randint next you need to create a variable called carry and set it to 1 once you do that you need to create another variable called score this this variable score and set it to 0 so the score will track the score of the player next you need to create a variable to open the text file which is players.txt which is the one that I've created before it's right here and we put in R in here so R stands for read so we are reading from that and then we're saying data so that's another variable called data and then we're reading everything from that file so we're reading every line and we're storing it inside data now we start in the while loop so we are saying while carry is equal to 1 so carry is equal to 1 that's true because that's true your while loop will start next we're saying random choice is equal to random dot rand int 0 to 2 so this will generate a random number between 0 and 2 I've put 0 and 2 because I have three player names right here so I have 1 2 and 3 0 1 and 2 so this is 0 this is 1 and 2 if you have 8 names you would put 7 in here if you have 10 you would put 9 in here and so on next you create an empty array so this is my empty array called team and then I created another empty array called player next I use the for loop to loop through data so data for lines in data this is data which is our text file so we loop in through our text file next we're saying split is equal to lines dot split so this splits each line on my text file by the comma so if I open my text file again we added a comma here so this will basically split the team from the player name it will split it into two and it will add it to the array next we're saying team dot append split zero so this will add the team name which is on position will be position zero because it's on the left side so this will be position zero this is, this is position one so this will add the team name to position zero so this is this adds the team to the team array so it's saying team dot append it adds it to this array and then you say player dot append split one which is our player which is in position one and this will add that player to this array the empty array okay next we're creating a variable called team name and we're saying team is team uh, so open brackets random choice so this will generate this will get the random number from the top which will be between 0 and 2 this will select the team name and it will also select the player name 
So the name of the player will be stored in here and the team name will be stored in team name. Next we're saying print the team is team name. So when I run my program, my first line will be, okay, we just need to press enter right here, save it and it will work. Okay, second. This is because I have extra lines here. So let's remove these lines and I only want one enter. There you go. Now it will definitely work. There you go. So if you add random spaces, as you saw, in my case, I added random spaces to my text file, you will get index errors. So index at range. Okay, now my program works again. Okay, so we got to here. We got the team is, and it displays the team name. And then we say in split player equals name dot split. So this will split the player name by the spaces. So if you go back here, as you can see, there is a space between the first name and surname. So this will split the first name from the surname. So it will split it into two. And then it will add it to, an, uh, to a list. Next we're saying, and the first letters of the player name are, and then we are looping through the split player. So we loop, we're looping through the first name and surname. And then we're saying split player X. So remember the four loops start from zero. So it will display so this X will display the first player name and then the zero, because we added a zero next to it, this will display only the first letter. So this, this line of code will display the first letter of each word. Next, we're asking the user to answer the question. So we're saying user answer, so that's my variable. And we, are, we want a string data type. So we want the user to enter a string data type and then we use an input to ask the user the question and then we say in slash n to go on a new line and then enter player name. And after that we use plus n. So we move to a new line. So this is needed. Next we're going to use an if statement. So we're saying if user answer dot lower. So this user answer but we're forcing it to lowercase. So this is part of defensive design to make sure our program works even if the user enters capital letters or lower cases. And then we say an equal to name.lower. So if the user answer is equal to the name of the player, then we would give the player, well, we would give the user three points. So we say correct three points and then we add three points to my score. So score is equal so to score plus three. So this will add three points to the score at the top. Next, we are moving to this. So else, so if that's not the case, if they got it wrong, then we would ask them a second time. So second attempt, that's another variable, and we're asking the same question. So that's not correct, enter again. Then we're saying if second attempt dot lower is equal to name. So that's doing the exact same thing here. And then if that's correct, they would get one mark. So that's their second try. If they get it wrong first time, it moves to this. If they get it second time, they would get one mark. So one point instead of three. And then lastly, you would go on this one. So if they didn't get it right second time, then the game will end. It will it will display print game over. The answer was, and then name. So that will display the car the player name, and then it will say carry is equal to zero. So this carry is equal to zero will break out of the loop because we're saying here while carry is equal to one. 
when this changes to zero, this becomes false. So the loop will end and the program will stop. So if I run my program now, so in this case, it's Cristiano Ronaldo, we should say three points, then Leo Messi, another three point. Let's get this wrong. Let's say A, that's incorrect. Uh, let's say Eden Hazard, we should get one point. That's it. And then I'm just going to break my program by typing two incorrect answers. And this is the program. If you're getting index out of range, make sure you double check your text file. Make sure you have no spaces under that except one, which should be right here, where you just press enter.